Hey there guys, so if you are looking for a quick appetizer, this is all you need. Tater tots, any brand, doesn't matter. Any kind of cheese that you like, and a waffle iron, and no Pam. Trust me, no Pam. It's scary, the grease that comes out, but let me show you. We are gonna make tater tot waffles. So I brought in, obviously I took this out of a bag of tater tots, and I will tell you this, that um, buy the five pound bag. <laughs> I know you're like, you gotta be crazy, but it's gonna take a lot to make a waffle I'm gonna show you. I always like the shredded cheese. You can do it yourself, buy it when on sale, put it on zippy bag in the freezer and you're fine. You're gonna wanna heat up your waffle iron. I have it on almost the max. It's ready to go. So I'm gonna take them. And you almost want to overstuff, if that makes sense. Really smush them down because when you put the lid down, they're gonna smush, they're gonna get smaller. And if you don't put enough in here, it really, it won't work. You can put these in completely frozen, just know it's gonna add that much more time to cooking it. And yeah, they're bumpy and, they're, and they are raised. So here's what you do. When you close it, you have to kind of force the lid. Not to where you break it, but you just kind of have to, you'll feel it give. What I like to do is I take the tater tots out of the freezer like about a half an hour, 20 minutes to a half an hour before I'm gonna make them. So they're not completely thawed, but it makes this step a little quicker. So this could take, this takes a couple of minutes. On most waffle irons, there's a little latch so they, it seals it and it can cook it and it can reach it up to temperature. You don't have to hold this the whole time. Once, which we're almost there, once this latches, then you let it cook. And when the ready light comes on, I go like another two minutes because the crispier these are, there it snapped, the crispier they are, the better. And now we wait. Oh yeah, okay. So what you want is, and you can even leave it in there and make it even crispier, but I think this is good. Plus we are really hungry and we're not waiting anymore. So this is not the appropriate tools to use, but I forgot the stuff I needed at home. <laughs> so you wanna use like, you know, the spatulas that are oven proof, that kind of a thing. So let me move this over here. And I'm not worried if it doesn't come out all in one. Life is too short for that. Okay, here we go. Put on any kind of cheese that you want. You could put scallions on it. I mean, someone here said you could you could dip these in ranch dressing. You can do that. You can add bacon. You can put pepperoni on it. Um, you can warm up marinara sauce and make your own little pizzas. Um, this is amazing. This way, you could cook an egg and put it on top. You can do a lot of things. So there is a tater tot waffle. And I don't know if you can tell or not, this was amazing to me. The amount of grease that comes off of these, it's just kind of running and I did a cleanup, but it's just all like, you're not eating that. Not that I'm saying tater tot is health food, but I say this is a lot better. 